Hey, what's going on, America? This is your favorite entrepreneur, Chad Entrepreneur Thompson. I'm excited to be coming live from one of my Sky offices. And um, today's topic is basically how to reinvent yourself. I know that's a key in the industry. A lot of people always want to know how to stay relevant, how to keep people looking at you, how to constantly build traffic, how to stay out there. You know, the first thing I always tell people on how to reinvent uh, yourself is you got to ask yourself a question. Are you a sign up or are you a leader? You know, really ask yourself this. You know, I always say the pen versus the producer, the pen versus the producer technique. You know, most people go for the pen in their company. You know, look at the city right now. I wanted to show you guys the view of what I wake up to every single day when I go to work. Because if you want to be at the top, guys, you got to see the top. You know, reinventing yourself is more than just hitting a title in your company. You got to be the producer. Can people depend on you? You know, and another key to reinventing yourself is realizing you're stuck. Some of you guys will never get to the top because you don't realize you're stuck. You keep doing the same thing, getting no results. You know, are you having backwards motion or forward motion? I mean, ask yourself. That's number one on how to reinvent yourself, realizing you're stuck. Because look at the city, guys. This is the world. This is Atlanta, guys. It doesn't get no higher than this. But step two is basically starting from scratch, family. So when you're starting from scratch, you want to make sure that you understand that no one really cares about your memories. You know, like me, for example, I had to realize, you know, high school football was high school football. You know, it was like... It was almost like we keep reliving things. I'm sure you probably bring up things when you was 18 years old. Like we have to create new memories when we want to recreate ourselves, period. And this is one of my offices I teach all my leaders, you know, key tips on what we're talking about here. You know, and it's hope. Let me, under let me help everybody understand this. Hope is the power that keeps us going. Guys, I started from a futon. <laughs> a futon. But hope is what kept me going. Hope allowed me to believe that one day I'll be a senior vice president. I'll be a platinum. I'll be whatever the top of the compensation plan is. Now, I want everybody to think right now, if you're going to recreate, if you're going to reinvent yourself, which seat are you going to claim at the boss's table? Which seat are you going to claim at the boss's table? Because remember, winning in your mind and losing in reality, it's okay. It's okay, because you have to first be comfortable with yourself. Let me tell you, let me tell you why, to be honest with you, people fail in the industry. It's because the school system basically taught us one thing, and corporate America taught us one thing. And MLM is totally different from both of those things. I'll give you an example. In school, prime example, in school, for example, if you made a 56 out of a 100, you failed. In MLM, if 56 people tell you no, and whatever the change is, 44 or 40, if 44 people told you yes, you actually won. In school, you failed because that's an F grade average. But in network marketing, you don't need a 80 out of 100. You only need a 3 really out of 100. So you're, so you're trained not to fail in school. That's just like corporate America. For example, how can you recreate yourself if what you're used to is you're scared to fail? See, in corporate America, if you fail three times in a row, you could be fired. Income, salary, done. In network marketing, we want you to fail. You gotta fail forward. See, that's the keys to reinventing yourself is being okay to fail. Just look through that window, guys. If I was scared to fail, I would never have the whole city, guys, I could go to any part of this office and be and see anywhere, the west side, the east side. And the reason why I'm showing you my vision, guys, my view, is because step three in recreating yourself, reinventing yourself, is having a direct mentor. I want you guys to see through these blinds. You see that? That's the world. Having a direct mentor. If you don't have a plan, follow their plan. It'll get you to the top. Be willing to take risks. Focus on the person, not the idea. Most people don't never understand what that means when I tell them that. Focus on the person, not the idea. 
Let me tell you what that means. Let me tell you what that means. If you focus on helping that person, adding value to the network, the, the marketplace, and not actually the idea of you getting rich off of it, you really focus like right now, I'm focusing on giving as much value from the heart as I possibly can instead of how much money or duplication is going to happen after this. Right? If you can focus on that, then the money's going to come. So really be real with yourself. That's the last thing. Be 100 with yourself, and you will be able to recreate yourself. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you at the next classroom. That was how to reinvent yourself. Peace.